Hello, my name is Sheldon Bradley, and I'm a multimedia producer for Persistence Multimedia. And welcome to this first installment of Staying Persistent with Media. And today we're going to talk about customizing your email signature in the Mac Mail application. All right, let's get started. Here I already have an email signature that I've already done here in Dreamweaver, but you're free to use any kind of HTML editing software or text editing software, either one will work. But I'm gonna give you um, this template so you can change it up any way that you see fit. So let's get started at looking at some of the components and building a email signature. Let's go to the split view. All right, here we can see the different areas of the email signature. We have a salutation here, and you're free to put any kind of salutation that you want there. I put uh, thank you there, but you can put any type of message that you want, and you can just uh, change that over here in the, uh, the code here that I have written. So just make those changes. All right. In my email signatures, I tend to use logos and pictures in it. And one of the key things about having a picture in your uh, email signature is to make sure that it's hosted uh, on your website. Or if you don't have a website, you can host it at any uh, image hosting service like TinyPix, you know. But make sure you have a direct link, a full uh, URL to your image and put that within this space within the code and it should work out for you. All right. All right, let's go over here to the um, title that you want to put here. You can put your name. I'm going to type my name in here right now. And you can put anything that you want to right there. So I pretty much build it so you can type and fill in all the information that you need, your phone number, um, your fax number, and also um, placing your email address there as well. But we're going to go over here and look at the uh, code. As you can see, we have a mail to link here. So whenever someone clicks on that email address, it's going to automatically uh, populate an email and whatever email application they have to that address. You can actually put any email address that you want to in there and um, you can have something different written there. But um, the code is already written there for you. All you have to do is place in the email address you want it to go to and the text that you would like to have up there. I've also put in there my instant messaging uh, handle as well, so you can put whatever you need there. Now this next section is a more information section, and this is where you can have your email recipients explore any more information that you want them to know about you, your web page, Facebook, Twitter, or MySpace, or any other page, blogs, or whatever you want to put there. And uh, it's just a great way for them to connect. And over here in the code, you can see um, the links to each one of these locations. Uh, and the website um, section here, I have it pointing back to the Persistence Multimedia website. And on the Facebook one, I have it pointing to the link for our Facebook page. So you can change up whatever uh, destination and URL that you want in this section. So to add another one, we're just gonna copy and paste uh, this one here, the last one, and paste it right below this code. And we're going to add our YouTube uh, channel location here. So we're just going to type in YouTube over the MySpace area. And I've already copied the link to our YouTube page. So I'm just going to paste it over the link area that we already have here. And it's just as easy as that. All right. And if we go up here, you see that it's changed and that link will be active within the email pointing to your YouTube page or wherever, whatever destination that you like. Okay, whatever software you decide to use, make sure you save it out as an HTML file. And I named it General Email Signature. And we're gonna open it up here in Safari. And as you can see, it's exactly as we um, wrote it out in Dreamweaver or whatever text edit and software you have. And if we wait a second, you'll see that our logo populates uh, right here. Now in Safari, we want to save this as a web archive in Safari. Not as an HTML file, but save it as a web archive. That's very important. And once we do that, um, we click Save. 
save it in the same spot as the other file. And it's gonna ask you, do you wanna, what extension you wanna use? We wanna use Web Archive. Okay, as you can see, it's been saved here uh, as a Web Archive. You can see the HTML uh, file up under it. Okay, now we're gonna go into the mail application. And what we wanna do first is go inside and we wanna to go to our mail preferences and we want to open up our email signatures here. Just slide across here from accounts and go to signatures. As you can see here, I already have a few signatures made already and we're gonna make a new one. And you can name it anything that you want to, but uh, you know, make it a distinctive name. We're just gonna um, keep this real simple and we're gonna call it sample sig, short for signature. Now let's, now let's go back out to Finder and locate this signature within your mail application. Let's go to your library and we'll go over to the email folder, scroll down and go into signatures. And here, this is where all your email signatures are stored for the mail application. Mail will generate a code for each one of the signatures. Um, I'm pretty familiar with all of mine, so I know which one is the uh, new one here. It's this one um, right here. And if we click on it and view it in Safari, as you can see, it shows up as that plain signature that was in the mail application. So we know that we're looking at the right one. Now let's go to get info and copy this name of this email signature. Uh, grab the code that Mail has made for it. We're gonna copy it, Command C. All right, close out of that. And we're gonna delete it. Now we're gonna take that same web archive file that we made for the new email signature and we're gonna drag it into your signature folder and put it amongst all the other web archive files. And what we're gonna do is open it up, get information, and we're gonna paste that same code or name from the file we deleted into the new one. All right, let's go back over to mail, go to preferences, and open up signatures, and you can see the new email signature is there. If it doesn't show up, quit mail, start it back, and it should populate in there. It won't show the icon, uh, until it's live in, in an email, so don't worry about that. But as you can see, it's the exact same one that we created within Dreamweaver, and it has all the links that we place. So now let's take the email signature and add the signature to one of the accounts. All right, let's go out and create a new email. We're gonna go here and sample sig, that's our signature, click on it, and there you have it. Once you send this email out, every one of the links that we created will be active and you can draw an even closer connection to all of your email recipients. As you can see, this is a great way to give a professional and personal touch to your outgoing email. We'll be back next time with more tips and ideas and commentary on ways that you and your business can stay persistent with media.